How to pass Google fast using the Pasco SEO system. The first thing you notice when you log into your Pasco SEO account is this full featured word processor, and this is normally where you begin typing a new article. To save time, however, I'll use something I wrote earlier. Now, because I wrote it myself this morning, I don't need to bother checking for duplicate content. I just want to see how well written it is. And the answer is not very well written, in fact, 69%. Uh, the main problem is that the system thinks that large chunks of the text have been spun. This doesn't actually mean that the text has been spun, it just means that it'll look like it's been spun to Google, and that's what counts. So you have to fix that. Uh, Google hates spinners nowadays. So let's look at the first sentence. Step one of the diet don't involve, well actually doesn't involve, obviously, food at all. It, that simply requires, it simply requires that you sleep with your left hand in bowl of in a bowl of warm water. Okay, let's run it through the system again, see what difference that made. Well, interestingly, the entire spam text problem has now gone away. This is because Google uses the concept of filters and thresholds. To trigger a particular filter, you have to cross a certain threshold. Now, these thresholds are normally set quite high um, because Google doesn't expect your text to be 100% perfect all the time. I just expect it to be fairly well written and obviously not stolen from somewhere else. So what's the next problem? Spelling. If I click on this, it'll tell me that um, there's a word here that isn't in the dictionary. Well, I can either add it to the, my personal dictionary or if it's a blatant misspelling, which it is in this case, I can correct it. So let's run it through again, see what difference that makes. Great. And now the next problem is, well, I'm getting there, look at the score. But the real problem is that um, I only have 231 words in the text and I should ideally have over 250. So I haven't got time to worry about this. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut and paste some text from here into the middle of the article. Nobody will notice that and then I'll have enough words, won't I? Uh, no, I still have 231 words and now I've triggered the on-page replication filter. What's on-page replication? This is where you have large portions of your text on a one page are similar to other portions of that text. And what this means is that the information density on your page is low um, and search engines don't like that. They want to provide the maximum amount of information at all times. So they downgrade you for this. It highlights the yellow, so I'll just remove it and try again. Uh, what I'll do is I will cut some more text from the original article. I'll paste that on the end. And now see how we're doing. Okay, we're comfortably over uh, 250 words, but now we have a problem with grammar. Well, this is highlighted in grey, so um, there we are. There's only one, and it's pretty obvious what the problem is. Sentences begin with capital letters. Okay, next error. Uh, more spelling. Um, in this case, these are blatant misspellings of the word diet, and that should say plenty. So let's see how we're doing now. Okay, we're now at 100%. It's worth pointing out at this, this stage that you don't need to get to 100% to pass Google. You, you know, if you aim for, say, four stars, 75, 85%, you're doing really well. The, the key point to remember is that the higher quality your article, the easier it'll be to rank for your key phrases, the less work you'll have to do to push it up that, that ranking hill. And conversely, the lower the quality of the article, the more work you'll have to do, for example, building backlinks and so on, to get that article to rank for your keywords. Right now, I've got it about as good as I'm going to get it, so I'll give it one final check for duplicate content, just to make sure that uh, this is unique as well as well written. Yep, there we go, five stars, 100%, so my work here is done. Now, that's something I wrote myself. What about other people's material? Say you commission articles, or you, you buy material from um, other authors. Well, here's something I bought on a forum that shall remain nameless. If I cut and paste it into the Pasco SEO, let's see what the system makes of it. Okay, not good, 52%, one star. Um, so although I paid, uh, I'm being asked to pay good money for this article, it's not actually very good. Now the main problem, uh, with the two main problems in fact, the spun text and it's not unique. So um, if we look at 
some of the spun text highlighted. Let's see what the problem is. Dogs send mirrored messages with their bodies and their voices. This is the reason why they are so fascinating and beloved. Well, yeah, gibberish. And uh, it doesn't actually matter what you pay for your articles. It's your responsibility to make sure that it's of high quality nowadays. If you publish something that isn't high quality, Google will punish you, not the or article writer. But I've, I've deleted some of that stuff, so let's see if we can find the on-page replication problems or the duplicate content problems. Okay, everything that's highlighted in yellow is duplicate. In other words, the system has found this on another website, something that's already been published. So if I click this box, it will tell me that large portions of this text come from that Blogspot blog. And Google's aware of this. Google knows that you know, you've basically stolen this material, so you're not going to rank for it. In fact, what Google will now assume is looking at this article, uh, big chunks of it that have obviously been lifted, and then big chunks of it that haven't, um, which suggests that it's a mashup. In other words, it's been created by stitching together chunks of somebody else's articles. This is called Franken content, and that will definitely get you a ban. Okay, now I've checked it and seen that it's rubbish. I don't have to pay the, uh, the author because I can't use it. If I publish this, I'll get the ban. So there you go. That's how you use Pascal SEO.